In this video, I am going to show how to draw the cross section of the spinal cord. We begin by drawing the dorsal side with a dorsal fissure and then forming the dorsal roots on either sides. Then extend it down to form the ventral roots on either sides and then the ventral fissure. Now we extend the dorsal root to form a swelling that is the dorsal root ganglia and then join both the dorsal and the ventral roots. This we do on both the sides. The dorsal and ventral roots join to form the spinal nerve. Inside the spinal cord, now we draw a H-shaped structure. This H-shaped structure represents the gray matter of the spinal cord. In the center, there is a small cavity with cerebrospinal fluid that is the central canal. Now let's label the parts. So on the dorsal side, the indentation that is shown is the dorsal fissure. Now the gray matter inside has the H-shaped part which extends near the dorsal root which is called as the dorsal horn. From the dorsal side there is a region where the nerves enter the spinal cord. That part is the dorsal root. This dorsal root shows a swelling which is called as a dorsal root ganglion. Ganglia are aggregation of cytons. This dorsal root then extends and joins with the ventral root. Now let's label the ventral side. So here we have the ventral fissure. This ventral fissure is more deeper than the dorsal fissure. The same as the dorsal horn, there is a ventral horn. It's not labeled here in the diagram. Next we label the ventral root. The ventral root is the part where the nerves leave the spinal cord and the ventral root then joins with the dorsal root to form the spinal nerve. Next, let us label the inner part that is the H-shaped region that is the grey matter of the spinal cord. So the inside of the spinal cord has grey matter and the outer side has the white matter. So this is the white matter. The white matter is divided into four columns, the dorsal, ventral and the lateral parts. Now in the dorsal side, we have the nerves or the neurons that enter inside the spinal cord. So it carries information from different parts of the body and it sends it to the spinal cord. The sensory neuron has the cytons in the dorsal root ganglion and on the other side on the ventral side we have the motor neurons that leave the spinal cord for the response so the dorsal side carries sensory neuron and the ventral side has the motor neurons the sensory neurons are also called as efferent neurons and the motor neurons are also called as efferent neurons so the sensory and the motor are different in case of dorsal and ventral root. So these two join together to form the spinal nerve. Thus the spinal nerve contains both sensory as well as motor neurons hence is called as a mixed nerve.